popular beach resort in Singapore closed after oil spill. Beaches at a popular tourist beach resort in Singapore have been closed because of an oil spill. Waters and sand at Tanjong Beach on Sentosa Island have been stained dark by the slick, which happened after a collision between two ships. The oil spill spread from the nearby Pasir Panjang shipping terminal after a dredger ship struck a stationary bunker vessel on Friday. The Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore said on Friday evening that some oil from the damaged cargo tank on the bunker vessel had spilled into the water and the affected cargo tank has been isolated and the spill contained. In an update on Saturday, it said patches of oil were observed off Pasir Panjang Terminal and along Tanjong, Palawan, and Siloso beaches. The authority said it deployed 16 oil spill response craft to continue spraying oil dispersants and to collect the oil slicks on the water surface. Oil slicks spotted. Clean up in progress. Please stay clear of water, a sign posted on the beach said. An advisory on the Sentosa website said the waters of Tanjong, Palawan, and Siloso beaches were closed for cleaning and swimming and sea activities were not allowed. <coughs> baby girl dies after being bitten by family's pet dog at home. A baby girl has died after being bitten by her family's pet dog at their home in the West Midlands. The seven-month-old was taken to hospital with serious head injuries following the attack on Shorncliffe Road in Coventry on Sunday afternoon. Police said the child died a short time later. The pet dog, which was not classed as a dangerous breed, was removed from the home and destroyed. In a statement, West Midlands Police said, a baby has tragically died after being bitten by a pet dog at a home in Coventry. We were called to a property at Shorncliffe Road shortly after 3 p.m. on Sunday. Together with our ambulance colleagues we arrived within minutes. A seven-month-old baby girl had received serious injuries to her head after being bitten by the family's dog inside the home. She received treatment at the scene by paramedics before being rushed to hospital for further treatment. The force added, tragically, she died a short time later. Our thoughts remain with her family at this devastating time. The pet dog, which isn't classed as a dangerous breed, was removed from the home on Sunday and humanely destroyed. We are in the early stages of our investigation and our inquiries are continuing. <coughs> Mysterious monolith discovered in desert near Las Vegas. A mysterious monolith has baffled police officers in Las Vegas after it was spotted glimmering in a remote mountain range near the neon-lit city. Las Vegas police said members of a volunteer search and rescue unit encountered the mirrored object near Gas Peak in the Desert National Wildlife Refuge in Nevada. Officers have no idea where the monolith came from and have said they expect social media users will try to solve the mystery. Sharing an image of the discovery on the ex-social media platform, Las Vegas police said, we see a lot of weird things when people go hiking like not being prepared for the weather, not bringing enough water, but check this out. Over the weekend, LV Search and Rescue spotted this mysterious monolith near Gas Peak north of the valley. The sighting follows a series of instances of mysterious shiny columns popping up around the world since at least 2020. In November of that year, a roughly 12-foot metal monolith similar to the one seen in Las Vegas was discovered deep in the desert in Utah. It was in an area so remote that officials didn't immediately reveal its location for fear of people getting lost or stranded while trying to find it. It was followed by sightings in Romania, Central California and on the famed Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas. In March this year, a 10-foot monolith appeared on a hillside in southeast Wales. <coughs> McDonald's ends AI drive through trial after order mishaps. McDonald's is ending its AI drive through trial after customers reported errors in their orders including bacon being added to ice cream. 
The fast food chain's AI ordering system, developed by IBM, uses voice recognition to process orders and has been rolled out at more than 100 McDonald's locations in the US since 2021. However, the technology's reliability has been called into question in recent months, with members of the public sharing videos of order mix-ups on social media. As well as topping a dessert with bacon, the AI drive through assistant added $211 worth of chicken nuggets to another customer's order. In another TikTok video posted with the caption Fighting with McDonald's Robot a woman is seen struggling to order vanilla ice cream and a bottle of water, and instead ends up with multiple sundaes, ketchup sachets, and two portions of butter. McDonald's has now instructed franchisees to remove the technology by the end of July as it has decided against extending the contract, in a move first reported by the trade publication Restaurant Business. The fast food giant said in a statement, while there have been successes to date, we feel there is an opportunity to explore voice ordering solutions more broadly. After a thoughtful review, McDonald's has decided to end our current partnership with IBM on AOD, automated order taking, and the technology will be shut off in all restaurants currently testing it no later than July 26, 2024. McDonald's also said it was confident the technology would still be a part of the company's future. The decision comes amid concerns over the potential impact AI could have on jobs and the workplace. Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un vow to aid each other if either country is attacked. Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un have vowed to aid each other if either's country is attacked. The mutual defense clause is part of a comprehensive strategic partnership the pair signed in a bid to unite against the U.S. The Russian leader, who is visiting North Korea for the first time in 24 years, claimed the agreement is defensive and peaceful in nature. Russian state media said Mr. Putin spoke to Mr. Kim face-to-face -face for about two hours and thanked him for his country's support for the war in Ukraine. The Kremlin chief was treated to a lavish ceremony when he arrived in the North Korean capital on Wednesday. Huge crowds lined the streets in Pyongyang to greet the motorcade, chanting welcome Putin and waving flowers in North Korean and Russian flags. International concern has grown over an arrangement in which North Korea provides Russia with badly needed munitions in exchange for economic aid and technology transfers that could enhance Pyongyang's nuclear weapons and missile program. Mr. Kim said the fiery friendship was now even closer than during Soviet times and promised full support and solidarity to the Russian government, army and people in carrying out the special military operation in Ukraine to protect sovereignty, security interests and territorial integrity. He also hailed Russia's important role and mission in preserving the strategic stability and balance in the world. The situation in the world is exacerbating and changing rapidly. In this situation, we intend to strengthen strategic interaction with Russia, Mr. Kim said. The UK's Defence Secretary Grant Shapps described the scenes in Pyongyang on Wednesday as bizarre. He added, a new axis of tyranny is working to undermine our freedoms. North Korea is under heavy sanctions from the United Nations Security Council of which Russia is a member over its weapons program. Russia faces sanctions by the U.S. and its Western partners over its aggression in Ukraine. The two leaders also exchanged gifts, with Mr. Kim reportedly receiving a Russian-built limousine, a tea set and an admiral's dirk, dagger, and President Putin being given various works of art. The visit comes after a major assault by Russian forces on the Ukrainian stronghold city of Kharkiv has faltered amid heavy losses. There is belief that Kyiv's defenders, racked by ammunition shortages for months, could eventually be back on the front foot as more Western weapons, including F-16 fighter jets arrive in Ukraine. <coughs> Dengue fever cases rising as climate change draws tiger mosquitoes to Europe. As climate change pushes temperatures up, Invasive mosquitoes are embedding into European countries bringing dengue fever with them. 
In 2023, there were 130 locally acquired cases of dengue reported in the EU, compared to 71 in 2022, according to an update from the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control ECDC. The rise is even more stark when you look back further, between 2010 and 2021, there were 73 cases across the whole period. Climate change is creating more favorable conditions for invasive mosquitoes to spread into previously unaffected areas and infect more people with diseases such as dengue, ECDC Director Andrea Ammon said. Imported cases are on the rise, too. More than 4,900 people in Europe caught dengue while traveling abroad in 2023, the highest figure since surveillance began in 2008 and up from 1,572 cases in 2022. The tiger mosquito, which spreads dengue as well as chikungunya and Zika virus, used to be found only in tropical countries. But the ECDC has found it is now established in 13 European countries, Austria, Bulgaria, Croatia, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Malta, Portugal, Romania, Slovenia, and Spain. The tiger mosquito has also been detected by authorities at UK ports several times in recent years, but so far no local populations have been established. Dengue symptoms include joint pain that can be so bad people feel their bones have been broken. Which is why it's also known as break bone fever. While 75% of infected people have no symptoms, 1% to 5% develop potentially fatal severe dengue. For those who do develop symptoms, others include severe headaches, pain behind the eyes, nausea, vomiting and swollen glands, according to the World Health Organization, WHO. Sufferers can also experience a high temperature and a rash. Typically, symptoms show between 4 and 10 days after infection. They tend to last for 2 to 7 days. Mosquito-borne diseases are only likely to become more common in Europe as climate change creates favorable environmental conditions for the growth of mosquito populations, the ECDC warned. It advised people living in areas with mosquitoes to remove stagnant water from gardens or balconies where mosquitoes can breed, use bed nets or window screens and insect repellent. It is not just dengue fever that is cause for concern as mosquitoes spread further into Europe. In March this year, a person in the Spanish city of Seville was infected with West Nile virus. Although an isolated case, it highlights that the transmission of West Nile virus can occur very early in the year, likely due to suitable climatic conditions, the ECDC said. A type of mosquito that carries yellow fever as well as dengue, chikungunya, and Zika also recently established itself in Cyprus. The ECDC said the potential for it to make its home in other parts of Europe was concerning due to its significant ability to transmit pathogens and its preference for biting humans.